Greetings and welcome back. In the previous lecture, we set up our first flow graph. We learned that the start event fires off when the game begins and starts up. We learned how that if we drag an item from up here down into the graph, it'll let you access its components. In this case, we access the text component and chose to set the text and it created this action. From there, we dragged our health variable from here to get that variable down here and convert it to an integer and then finally write it out here to health text. So in this assignment, I want you to do the exact same thing to get hunger text updating from the variable here. Pretty simple assignment. If you have trouble, go back, watch the previous lecture again, and then I'll show you the solution in the next lecture. Greetings and welcome back. In the previous lecture, basically we provided you the assignment for setting up hunger the same way we set up health here. So now in this solution, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, I know that I can select all three of these, right click and say duplicate selection. So I've basically copied these actions so I didn't have to lay them all out again. And I'm gonna the flow to keep going right into here. So I don't have to have another start event. It's just going to flow from here into there. And then under this health text, I really don't want that as the object. Instead, I want hunger text. So I can select it here and switch it over. Or I could also alternatively pick it up and drag it in like that. Now, of course, the get variable needs to change from health to hunger here. So this is getting health. This is getting hunger. Both get converted to integers. This one updates health. This one updates hunger text. Run it. Make sure it works as described. And there you go. Both of these values are now updated from variables. So this is running every time the game starts. And then we're going to want to use this again. Anytime we update health or update hunger, we're going to want to run these again. So in the next lecture, we're going to see how we can create a little bit more reusable items using super units and reusable actions using super units.